And hey viewers, it's the next day after my burn. I'm a little stiff and sore, so I'm still in my PJs. I did a lot of log lifting yesterday. Now I've got my burn pile all burned. I've got to go around and pick up all these limbs and do it all over again. Somewhere out here yesterday, I lost one of my GoPro batteries. I'll probably never see that GoPro battery again. Probably has to order some more anyway. They only hold up so long. Let's see, my truck was parked right along in here. I could have lost it when I got out of the truck. Actually, I moved the truck a dozen times. So. The elusive GoPro battery, probably not gonna be found. Especially if it wound up in the fire. I'm gonna lay it out here. I need to get my lawnmower out here and drive around and trim these grass up where my limbs were piled up. Not a whole lot left of the fire today. It was still glowing last night in the dark. I just let it go all night. Still some in there that's still hot. I wonder if I can get it going again. Catch back up. Getting oxygen, it'll probably go again. If I ain't careful, I'm gonna smell like smoke again. There you go, it just flashed back into After sitting all night. I guess I could walk around and find some limbs if they're on it. No, I think I better hold off on stacking it up. We'll do another burn pile in a couple of days. That's where I'm feeling a little better.
Yeah, I considered grabbing up limbs and getting the fire going again, but I'll just make a nice big burn pile and put the diesel fuel to, fuel to it like I did yesterday. Oh, on a day when I'm not quite so sore from all that walking and lifting yesterday. I did find my GoPro battery up under the seat of this truck I'm sitting in. How it got under there, I don't know. I guess it fell out of my pocket. The wind's not looking too windy now, but I'll sit here for a few minutes and make sure it don't kick up. I came out here looking for this elusive GoPro battery. Wound up working on some fire and going to get the mail. I guess as I'm sitting here, I could tell you an old Navy story that comes to mind, sitting here looking at this fire. We were underway in the South Atlantic, and we were in a convoy of other minesweepers. Most of us were about, I don't know, 100 yards apart. I don't remember how many minesweepers was in the convoy, but we were all going the same direction. It was about 1 or 2 o'clock in the morning, and those that didn't have the duty were asleep including myself well general quarters went off fire in the engine room well that's not an everyday occurrence everybody gets a little upset when uh, all this smoke is billowing up out of the forward engine room forward engine room on a minesweeper was let's see what all was down there we had some big generators air compressors uh, evaporators and other equipment down there. The main propulsion engines were in the aft engine room. But we're trained to muster our quarters and go get ready to put out the fire. Well, I get out the OBAs, the oxygen breathing apparatus. Put, I was in charge of the repair party, so I put the OVA on the first person in line to go down there. And the time I got him all strapped up in the OVA and put him a new canister in there where he could breathe, here comes the captain flying down from the bridge or somewhere. Unbeknownst to us, he wasn't going to follow any procedures. You know, if we went down there and it was a raging fire, well, my man could just back right out with a fire hose and... Um, Pretty well stay safe. But not the captain. He goes flying down that ladder into the engine room. He disappears into the smoke. I said, like, wait a minute. If I did that, he'd be wanting to court-martial me. He went down there and grabbed up some fire extinguishers. Not only if it was a hot water boiler or whatever it was that was on fire, but he managed to extinguish the fire before it spread. But we didn't know. We were following procedures. time we got ready to put the fire out, he had already put it out. I remember one incident in the Navy, or I forget which ship it was, but it was... Okay, my friends, I went back and looked it up on Google. It was the USS Stalwart, MSO 493. She sank June the 25th, 1966, tied up to the pier in San Juan, Puerto Rico. It was another minesweeper and it was tied to the pier in Little Creek or Charleston. Might have been Norfolk, I don't remember. But they had a big fire got on that ship and they squirted water in that ship until it actually sank, tied to the dock. You gotta remember, minesweepers are made out of a wooden hull. When they get to flaming, they're flaming. We were known as iron men on wooden ships. And a wooden ship would sure bob around in the ocean a whole lot more than a metal ship. Anyway, that my sweeper was a total loss. I don't remember what the name of it was now. But that was sometime in... Well, I don't see a whole lot of wind on my fire. 
and it's not flaming too bad now most of my sticks out there well now are gone them logs pieces of log i pulled up are going to sit here and smolder for a while it would take one heck of a breeze to spread it i'm going back in the house thanks for listening to my little yarn today